Good morning, everyone. I never wear my glasses, but today I am getting my wisdom teeth out. I'm only getting two of them out on my right side, and I am really freaking nervous. I'm about to head over to drop my car off at my mom's house so that, you know, I can get a ride to the dentist. But uh, I'm pretty scared. It's 7.24 in the morning. I decided to go with a super early appointment because you can't eat and you can't drink water before uh, because I want to do like sedation. The, you know, where I kind of fall asleep but not really. So because of that, I couldn't eat or drink water this morning or last night. But yeah, we're gonna head over to my appointment. I'm a little bit nervous but it'll be okay. I have faith and it'll be fine. But yeah, that's today's vlog. We're gonna see how I survive my surgery and you're gonna come along with me for the healing and this weekend. So let's go do that. What a throwback location. But this is my mom's house. I'm back at home. I'm feeling okay. This entire side of my face is so numb. And um, they said they had to do this because my top tooth was not cooperating. So anyways, I'm going to watch some YouTube and sit down. I feel very odd right now. <laughs> Being here and filming gives me such throwback vibes. If you're a real one, you would know how many vlogs I've done in this kitchen. I'm gonna eat my first meal of the day. I'm feeling a little nauseous, not gonna lie, but I do remember they said it was normal. So this is a smoothie with banana, blueberry, and like vanilla protein powdery thing. Something liquid and something to fill my stomach because I haven't eaten at all today and barely drank water. But I still feel not bad other than the nauseousness. It's like it was a little bit earlier, but now I'm okay. So maybe it comes and it goes. Ah, okay, I forgot to grab my gauze. It's upstairs, so I need to do that. Let's go grab the gauze and then eat my smoothie, drink my smoothie. <laughs> It is wisdom teeth day two. As you can tell, my face is super swollen on the right side, which is normal. Thank goodness I did not have a fever last night or anything like that. It's just a little bit hard to open my mouth like super large, but that's totally fine. I'm gonna rinse my mouth for the first time. I lightly brushed this morning, but only on the left side. And I just ate breakfast. So we're gonna rinse. I have salt water in this little syringe. And then also this alcohol-free oral rinse that I got prescribed. So let's open that up. I'm gonna do the salt water first. I don't know if I'm supposed to shoot it directly at my gums or just in my mouth, but I literally can't even see my mouth. That's a problem. And we will do this rinse now. Fill the cap to fill line. Swish in mouth undiluted for 30 seconds twice daily after breakfast or be and before bedtime. Okay. <sighs> I am quite thankful that I only got one side out. Now that I have this experience, if I had gotten all four out like I originally planned, I would not be able to do anything for real. Like I can at least still eat and stuff because of my left side, it's totally fine. So I'm really thankful about that. Even if I have to go through this twice because in a few years I'll have to do my left side as well. It's way better than the alternative, I think. So let's rinse for 30 seconds. 
today i really could go to work i feel okay but i'm not going to because i got the day off already going to go home back to my place now probably do a grocery run today do a bit of cleaning just some light stuff and also do maybe a walk outside because yesterday i couldn't do anything and i was like itching to go outside in the sun so we'll probably do that but i'm gonna pack up all my stuff and we're gonna go and get ready to go home so I do have the day off today because I thought I was going to be a lot more immobile than I am now. Luckily, the only thing I really can't move is my mouth. That's not a problem. I'm going to take advantage of this day off, do all of my errands today because I actually do have a pretty packed weekend and I want to not have to do this over the weekend. So we are going to do a little bit of laundry and cleaning for a little bit. Also gonna do my grocery shopping and it's actually the last weekend of the month so I need to plan my next month. You know, I've done my monthly setup a couple times on the vlogs. So you already know what it is. Sorry that my mouth is like so weird, I know. <laughs> this is the way it is, but we're gonna try and get things done today. shopping together since I have a little bit of extra time today I'm gonna hit both TNT and Safeway because I am missing a few Asian groceries that I would like to pick up so let's go over Okay, we'll give you a proper haul when I'm home, but look at the TNT tea eggs and the pork gyoza. My two favorite things to get a TNT from the hot food section. So good. Okay, let's go to Safeway now. When I last recorded, it was 2.24 and right now it is 2.33. So literally it took me nine minutes to whip this up. It's so fast and easy and I am so excited to eat this. So I'm gonna shut up and start eating. Being hurt, what a concept. Gotta stay alive, yeah, that's the mindset. Caffeine mornings, vodka nights. Gotta be awake, gotta live this life. Hoping there's more, but knowing there's less. We gotta keep going and hope for the best. Walking the streets, just you and me. Trying to fill the void, trying not to bleed Sometimes life just moves too slow You gotta find a reason to push it and go You know we're trying our best to be a success We're living our life trying to clean up the mess Cause I'm stuck in this road, day in day out Thoughts come in but nothing comes out I'm still trying to feel on top Wishing all the shit would just come to a stop surgery day two. I am feeling a lot better. My face is still a little bit swollen, but much, much better than yesterday. Thank goodness. But I still can't talk a lot. Like it still hurts to 
open my mouth a ton, so I'm not gonna be a chatty Cathy like I usually am in the vlogs. Anyways, it is 11.30. I went on a hot girl walk this morning, and I'm gonna make lunch soon, but I'm not super hungry yet, so I'm gonna read. I started this this morning. It's Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey. Just a cute little lighthearted romance to get myself in the mood for summer. But yeah. Yeah, my mouth still definitely hurts. It's definitely less swollen, thank goodness. Um, but still a little bit of pain, so I'm not gonna talk too much. journal that I'm gonna start in June and June is starting this week so I'm gonna set it up now since I want it to be all ready for June 1st I decided to go with this pastel blue color this time I don't really gravitate towards blue it's not really my favorite color I would prefer purples and pinks and orange but I have never done this color before so figured I'd get one of this color I've been using Lloydstrom's for so many years as my daily journal. I love them. I love the size. I love the paper. It's just perfect in my opinion. But I'm going to decorate it with a few stickers that I have. So let's throw all that away. I showed these stickers in a couple, a couple vlogs ago. I don't remember when. And I have more die cut stickers coming in the mail this week. So I'm going to put these ones on first. And then later on this week when I get my other order in the mail i'm going to stick those on as well but let's see this is like the scariest part because it's like so permanent or so i think i like that look it's like the same color that's kind of cool i kind of like that but anyways i'm going to do this i'm kind of scared Here's a journal so far. I've learned not to be too perfectionistic about the sticker placement because honestly, I cover my journals with so many stickers that later on you can't even see half of them. So I'm so excited to start using this on June 1st, which is Thursday, I think. Crazy that June is already happening. We're already halfway through. Oh no, we're about to be halfway through 2023, which is wild. Anyways, that's that done. I'm going to update my reading journal for this week because I just finished a book yesterday and I need to do my June setup, but this is May. I actually read eight books, which is crazy. And I might be finishing the one I'm reading now. So maybe nine even, which I think is a record, but I'm going to update and make my June spread. So I'm gonna do that. I am heading out to a dance show tonight. If you guys know, I used to do dance for the longest time and only this year I stopped dancing, but I'm going to watch the show. It's the first one in person since COVID basically. Here is my fit, just a little bit fancier. This little halter top I've had since high school. I'm pretty sure I thrifted this a long time ago, but I still have it and I love it and I wear it every year. Then my Aritzia Everlist pants in the white color. And I just a little half up, half down. And some jewelry as well. I'm gonna go and grab a quick dinner with my friend Cheris, and then we're gonna head over to the show together. I'm really excited, so let's go. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. It is wisdom teeth post-surgery day three now, I guess. I'm honestly, it's a lot better than before. I'm actually very grateful that my recovery was very smooth. Um, last night after the show it was definitely hurting a little bit um, but I took a painkiller before bed and then just 
knocked out. But this morning, it is now Sunday, and our fun activity of the day, of the morning, is we're gonna go to a farmer's market. I am so freaking excited. My goal of this farmer's market is to buy some sort of yummy loaf, like banana bread or like a focaccia bread, some sort of yummy loaf that I can eat because that sounds really good. Although I tried to eat bread this morning and it was quite difficult, so we'll see how that goes. I'm very excited. Afterwards tonight, I'm gonna host some of my friends over. We're gonna get some takeout and just hang out, catch up, because it's been like a while since we've hung out. But um, yeah, that's today. I'm excited to go to the farmer's market. You know, last week I was so scared to go to an event by myself, but now I feel like, now that I did it once, like, I just have the power to to just do anything I want now, so I can do anything. Also, I'm wearing the same outfit as yesterday, but no one really knows that except you guys, so hope you don't go ratting me out. And, um, yeah, that's my, that's my little update for today. I'm gonna drive there. It's a little bit far. It's like a 30 minute drive so I'm gonna drive there and we're gonna go to the farmer's market and I'll see you there I just got back in the car from the farmer's market. I must tell you how much I love doing these things by myself now that I can because I just feel like before whenever I would go to farmer's markets or whatever with other people sometimes your interests don't align and you want to go to different booths or they like a booth that you don't really like or you really like a booth that your friend doesn't really like and it's like a lot of extra pressure about like oh I feel bad for making them wait and stuff like that but when you go by yourself you can do whatever you want. Like for me, I like to scope the farmer's markets out first, go once around just to see everything, and then go back in in depth. So I made like four different circles of the farmer's market, which is totally fine because I was like, whatever, I can do what I want. I'm going to show you what I bought though. First of all, there was a little bakery stand and I bought two things. First off is a salted chocolate chunk cookie. Should we try a bite right now? Mm -hmm. and a tomato cheese tomato wait I said tomato tomato pesto cheese focaccia bread that I will try when I get home this one was super random but I got a green curry sauce the guy at the booth was really nice and said it was really good so I want to try it also I need a sauce for my lunch today so this is perfect and last but not least, I got a bunch of flowers. I don't remember what they are. They are not peonies. They're, it starts with an R. I'll try and put it in if I can search it up. But they're so pretty, and I bought orange flowers this week already. But I thought this would be perfect to add into my vase, because these are also orange, and it's a different type of flower. Alright, I'm going to head home and eat some lunch. 